one of the amazing things about today's ice fishing technology is it gives you an underwater look at what's going on. You learn a lot about biology, you learn a lot about fish behavior. Um, along those lines, the underwater camera has really changed the game. They've become more affordable, they've become smaller, easier to maneuver, easier to use. And uh, besides using them on the ice, they're also a cool tool in open water. Today, I'm using the Aquaview Micro 5 which is actually plugged into the video port of my Raymarine ES78, which is a bow unit. Um, wow, look at these fish coming in. Boom, there it is. Anyways, as I was saying, I used it in open water on the bow of my boat, and then I just put it into a Gens box. That's a nice gill, look at that. And I could see it right on the camera. You know, this is really exciting. Fishing with an underwater camera you learn so much about the underwater habitat. You can identify green weeds versus dead weeds. You can find you know, groups of panfish, your predators, from scouting to watching your bait in real time and learning how to adjust your jigging cadence to get bit. They're an indispensable tool. Oh, so I'm getting value out of this GPS combo unit and sonar. Rocky Marciano, but we'll take it. Oh, come back. That is a big rock bass. Spring, summer, fall, winter, the underwater camera plugged into your GPS combo unit is just a deadly effective tool. Having this larger viewing space is, is, is great. You get to see more of the underwater landscape, and you also have GPS, so when, you're go, when you go around and you do your scouting, you find some fish with the underwater camera, you just simply press a button, mark a waypoint, and it shows up on your map. So you remember where you saw the good green weeds, where you saw the fish, and you aren't relying just on sonar, you're using your underwater camera to mark those waypoints for future use. Just deadly and effective. You can observe you know, what colors, what kind of plastics, what profiles the fish respond to. Now. I had a little piece of a wax worm just giving off a little bit of particulate in the water, drawing this fish in. Don't be scared to combine live bait, whether it's Euro larva or a floppy wax worm, with your plastic tungsten or lead jig head. It could be a real one-two punch. The camera teaches you a lot about what fish prefer in terms of jigging cadence, uh, jig profile, color, size. It's a fantastic tool. That, that you don't get with sonar or a flasher alone. A lot of times, using the camera gives you a real advantage you know, over other anglers in competitive situations. All the guys are using them to scout these days. They're smaller, they're more compact. You can fit them in your pocket. Just big old baby. Oh, there's the bass! Out of nowhere! Yes! <laughs> nice. Oh. <laughs> I was so busy watching that, that little bluegill uh, you know, play with the minnow head on the bottom of the RPM and that pike off in the distance that I didn't even know there was a bass in the vicinity. It came from behind the camera, and that's really what's so exciting about underwater viewing. You never know what's going to happen. You're learning stuff all the time. Man, that's a beautiful fish. Let's get her back.